All right, hello everybody, welcome to this beta showcase for NE 1.4.4. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first feature is going to be the Builder's Wand overlay. So Builder's Wand is a new item that was added. And uh, yeah, so this overlay will basically show you which blocks are going to get placed. So in this case, it's showing me, yo, there's uh, five stone bricks. If you right click, those five stone bricks get placed. Uh, if you don't have enough blocks, so for instance here, I only have six, 69 sand. Uh, it also tell you how much of a certain block you have uh, in your inventory. So I, I have five in my main inventory here plus 64 in this inventory over here. So it tells me, okay, I have 69 sand blocks here, uh, but that is not enough. I need 163 to place here, so it's gonna show up in red. If I were to go and grab some sand out of my chest here, uh, you would be able to see, oh, there you go. I have now have 261 sand, which is more than enough to place 163 blocks, and bam, placed. Uh, now the builder's one has a limit of 164 blocks, so you try to place more than that, it's just gonna say, yeah, uh, too many blocks, 318 out of 164. All right, next up, I've made some improvements to the NEU enchant colors. Uh, in particular, I've made uh, lots of improvements to the chroma. So, uh, chroma used to be pretty bad. Uh, now, if you have chroma, by the way, if you don't know how to set chroma, you have to set the color code to Z in NEU EC. Uh, if you set it to, to Z, Z, whatever, uh, it'll show up as chroma. And so now it scales across nicely. Uh, it's uh, all nice and aligned. Uh, the enchant colors now also works with ultimate enchants. And there's also support for capturing groups in the rejects over here. All right, next up, there's a new command slash any settings. If we just open up the settings menu, oh, look at that. Uh, the settings menu has had uh, quite, a, quite a few changes. So uh, you can still go back between different pages, but now we have five different categories we can go to. Uh, obviously all, miscellaneous, features, sliders, colors. Actually pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there's also a search bar here. So for example, if I wanted to search for uh, filler, uh, there's also a very important new config option, and that is this Pain GUI scale. Uh, so this Pain GUI scale lets you basically change the GUI scale of this pane over here. So right now it's on two. Uh, so you maybe want it a little bit larger, maybe you want it really large, maybe you want it a little bit smaller. Uh, so this basically lets you s manually set the uh, GUI scale for the item pane without influencing the rest of your game. Uh, the reason why this is important as well is because now uh, you can also set LabiMod inventory scaling. Uh, so if you have Labby Mod inventory scaling on, uh, Labby Mod inventory scaling is no longer going to break the item list. Uh, next up, there's a new config option to disable the accessory bag overlay. Uh, you can also disable the Builders Wand overlay if you want, and you can also disable the uh, Builders Wand block count. So if you disable this, it's no, lo no longer going to show the blocks that used to appear over here. Uh, the very last feature is the missing enchant list. So if I go to one of my items over here and I hold shift, it's actually going to tell me which enchants are missing from this item. So in my case, I'm missing Cleave, Fire Aspect, Knockback, Thunderlord, Venomous, and Vicious. Uh, it works with pretty much every enchanted item. Uh, as long as it is enchanted, it won't show for non-enchanted items. Uh, it works in NEU Auction House. It also works in the regular Auction House, obviously. Um, and, and yeah, so it shows you which enchants are missing. So this makes it a lot easier to make more informed decisions about purchasing you know, a sword. You don't, you don't have to like triple check the, the enchants to make sure they're not missing um, something dumb. So yeah, very, very cool feature there. All right, and that's going to do it for this beta showcase. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, and yeah, see ya.